Rabbi, doesn't when it says all the world was one language, uh, it's interesting. The word uh, lashon is not used there, is it? Isn't it a name? Uh, isn't the word? I'm trying to remember the Hebrew word. Safa. It doesn't say safa. Right. Is now help me out here. Is that also not the same root of Esau's name or not? No. It's not. No. What does safat mean? I, I, this is instructive. Safa I think really means it really means um, <clears throat> like um, lips. Uh, yeah. It's also used to describe like the um, the bank of uh, of a river or the sea. The sfatayam is yes. like it's like the edge. Yeah. So it has the to, edge yeah, exactly. The edge, right? Yeah. So what I'm saying is is that that word is used to describe the language that everyone spoke, and and I don't you think it means it's a description of the fact that they limited they were trying to limit Hashem their their own speech was limited they could not open up and and speak of the eternal they limited Hashem and they wanted to put limits on society's growth and they wanted to limit the faith in Hashem right exactly there's yeah. so much that we learn when we when we examine the the Hebrew of the verses it's so important because there's so much misunderstanding when we don't have access to the the actual meaning of everything you know like I, w I was telling a class the other day it is a Jewish book you're like pardon me and so if you <laughs> if you don't mind it's like it's a Jewish book and if you don't have the access to the wisdom of the sages <clears throat> and if you're mm -hmm. not able to approach it in a Jewish mindset then there's so much misunderstanding and so yeah. that's a that's a real basis of of uh, serious Torah study. Amen.